Hours in unbearable heat, no food or water available. That's how one Connecticut woman is describing a nightmare flight. This experience now part of a federal investigation as the U.S. Department of Transportation tells the I-Team it is investigating. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink is getting answers. And a girl had a panic attack and passed out. So That's critical care nurse Christine Aronimo of Connecticut in a moment that has now gone viral. We had elderly people, we had babies. We had pregnant women, not even water. You didn't even pass around water. She's seen here speaking for a group of passengers at the United ticket counter in Newark Liberty International Airport after their flight was delayed, then canceled at one in the morning. It was hot, thick. It was hard to breathe. We were trapped on that plane for seven hours. There should be a federal investigation. I'm surprised somebody didn't die. Aronimo was headed to Rome on July 3rd with her family and hundreds of others. When shortly after being seated on the plane, things started to go wrong. We noticed that it was getting hot. The air conditioning wasn't working. The plane headed back to the gates. Mechanics jumped on and the problem seemed to be fixed until it started getting hot again. Aronimo says that's when the captain said the plane was going back to the gate and they'd be getting off. That process took over three hours. People were taking off their shirts and, and women were in sports bras. It was just so hot and um, it became unbearable and there was no ventilation. The biggest shock for Aronimo? During the seven hours, nothing was ever offered. Um, nobody even offered water. What do you want me to do was the exact quote I got from one of the flight attendants. Aronimo says she watched elderly people sweat, a baby was crying, and a young girl almost passed out. She must have had a panic attack and um, she was vomiting. The U.S. Department of Transportation says airlines must provide passengers with food and water no later than two hours after the tarmac delay begins. And even United's policy claims they will provide adequate food and potable water no later than two hours after the start of the tarmac delay, unless the pilot in command determines that safety or security considerations preclude such service. So what happened? If the CEO, Scott Kirby's parents were on that plane, would he have done something? Passengers were left in the airport with no accommodations or food and a canceled flight. Her family eventually found rooms and were able to book new flights for the next day at their own expense, which Aronimo says added up to $4,000. United's offer a compensation, vouchers worth $400. She now has a message for United's CEO. I think that he needs to figure out how he's going to um, compensate all of us because it was a pretty horrific experience.